What's up, y'all? So we back at the shop. Uh, about to do this 300. I'm about to start wrapping this mug. Mug is nice. Scat Swat 300. Yeah, man. So y'all stay tuned for this. It's already wiped down, prepped. Um, of course, I'm going to uh, alcohol it one more time before I actually do start wrapping it. And, uh, yeah. Let me get to it, man. I'm going to set y'all up. What's up, y'all? So y'all see, we end up finishing the 300. We did all Nardo gray with the red stripes, uh, the gloss black accents, the gloss black uh, front grill. Uh, the only thing I couldn't do was the bottom grill. Where well, I ain't gonna say I couldn't do it. He just finna change the whole front bumper, so it was kind of not important for me to do the bottom grill pieces. But I did everything else for him just because I was, uh, it was already off the car when I was doing it. So uh, why not? Uh, we did the gloss black mirrors, gloss black door handles, gloss black trim all the way around. Yeah, it came out nice. This is a uh, 300 uh, scat. So, yeah, this is super, super nice, man. Y'all stay tuned. We got some more coming, especially for this. Um, got the scat wheels, got the scat interior. Everything, Copar, Copar, Copar. Just letting y'all know. It ain't done yet. He is getting a new steering wheel. Stuff like that. Uh, yeah. So the donor car was kind of beat up. So that's why it's, yeah, he just got a new steering wheel. All that good stuff. But yeah, man. 
Y'all definitely let me know what y'all think about it. The Nardo gray with the red accents. I think it came out super nice, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I uh, got the Brembo, the red to match the Brembo and the seats. Gotta get the tent darker. Definitely gotta get the tent darker, but other than that, it's still a work in progress, man. He kind of got it from the, the the guy that did the, the, the interior and stuff from him and brought it straight here. So y'all just, I gotta stay tuned, man, with everything that's going on, everything that's popping. It is for sale. So if you do want a, a 300 uh, swap scat, got all paperwork and everything for it. Oh, I gotta put the things in, but yeah, I'll do that later. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think, what y'all want, what y'all wanna see. More content on the way. Obviously we got the 300 right here. We got the Beamer right here. And we got a Trackhawk in the back. Y'all see that line right there, cold too. That's the thumbnail, if y'all didn't know. <laughs> yeah, man. I gotta wash mine and get my wheels done. I got I still got minor touches to do on mine, but that's definitely coming next. Let me lock that. Yeah, that's definitely coming next, man. Gloss black wheels, stuff like that. Shop real, real dirty, man. Real dirty, but that's because we working. Y'all see that? That's looking nasty. Look at the track. This is a gloss sun, sun flower yellow for a track car. My boy David just did, just did the mirrors on it. The owner didn't want them black anymore. Yeah, he snapped. He snapped with that demon hood. Yeah, you know I gotta get a picture of that. Yeah, that's nasty with the red interior though gang red interior on it nasty i actually like the brighter red interior than the darker uh maroon or whatever this burgundy interior but it's a track so you can't really complain but yeah i do like the bright red interior on these this shit is nasty y'all let me know what y'all think about this because i ain't never i never leave really, never personally seen a yellow track hawk from factor maybe i just gotta do my research but i've personally never seen a yellow track hawk from factory this is a wrap actually it's not factory so that's why i'm saying from factory because this is a wrap you know but you can't tell because it's like paint man getting in the man getting them out man but y'all see we finished the 300 finished the track uh finishing the vet finish start that bmw later on tonight so y'all stay tuned for that make sure y'all like comment and subscribe I'm going to cut y'all back on the next video and don't turn up.